Hello and welcome. I'm Jennifer Laszlo Mizrahi, founder of Respectability, and I am so excited to be here with you today from Vienna, Austria, where we are at the United Nations for the fabulous Zero Barriers Conference, where we have hundreds of people from around the world who are speakers, who are at the very forefront of the disability movement, real movers, shakers, people who are providing access to the more than one billion people with disabilities around the world. I am so honored today to be with a real innovator and groundbreaking leader with Kearns Lane, who is here to talk to us about Be My Eyes. This is a really exciting technology because it combines human beings with technology. So Kearns, tell us about what it is that you're doing, how does it work, and what is its impact? Sure, thank you, Jennifer. Um, and thank you to everyone who has organized this uh, incredible opportunity. Uh, Be My Eyes is a uh, really simple mobile application that connects uh, people who are blind or may have low vision to a sighted volunteer or a company representative um, for quick visual assistance. Uh, this works across geographies, uh, languages, time zones, um, cultural differences. Uh, so we really are um, on a mission to uh, see the world together and connect people through uh, technology. So tell us about how this works. Let's say you're an individual who's blind or has low vision, or you're somebody who wants to be a volunteer. How do you learn about this, and what is your marketing strategy? Sure, so we, we don't really pay for marketing. Um, we've really been a word of mouth organization um, that has relied on uh, external champions and um, you know internal uh, user influencers. Uh, so we're not really in the game of you know paying for uh, either advertising to bring new users onto the platform or um, paying for PR. Um, Thankfully, you know, I feel incredibly lucky to work for a company that uh, regular, regularly is picked up uh, by great outlets um, because of our mission. Uh, it's, so we generally you know, acquire users or volunteers because they, they hear about it from a friend or they read a piece of, um, you know, a piece of news that, that decided to cover us. Um, and then we do, we do a little promotion like on our social media channels as well um, and on our website. Now, Kearns, I understand that Be My Eyes has really become a community, uh, that you're really bringing people together. Can you give us some specific examples of how that works and maybe some success stories from Be My Eyes and, and the community that you're building? Sure. So, I mean, every day somebody is connecting to another person who they don't know um, for help. And the person who answers the Be My Eyes call is having that um, perspective shift uh, occur in their own lives. Um, I know that when I first got a Be My Eyes call, uh, it was really enlightening. And it, it's literally a perspective shift because you are you're seeing through the rear camera of somebody's phone. You're seeing uh, a little glimpse into their life. Uh, and it's all with um, you know, kindness and, and empathy and generosity in mind. Um, some success stories that we have heard about, um, anything from you know, parents being able to uh, check their children's homework, um, somebody who is lost being able to get back to where they're trying to go, uh, women being able to read their pregnancy tests uh, privately without having to, you know, potentially share a, a life-changing result um, too early with someone. Uh, so these are just a few a few things that occur on the platform um, all the time, and we like to think that each call represents um, a good deed waiting to happen for our volunteers. Uh, and this is really what, what kind of drives this uh, growth in our community. Is there any sort of special training that your volunteers come through? And is there any sort of elevation of some of the volunteers who get more experience around things such as medical visits 
or any other kinds of particular kind of service that you're offering uh, to people who are blind or low vision? So we, we don't rely on the volunteers for that. However, there is a uh, section of the app called Specialized Help. Um, in this section of the app, uh, you can find uh, partner companies um, and reach a subject matter expert. So if you are, let's say, locked out of your Gmail account, you can contact Google anywhere in the world 24-7 and, and get help that way. Um, you can get a COVID test read to you um, from the National Health Service in the UK. So, you know, while some of our volunteers are definitely experts in whatever they do, um, the way that we route the calls uh, is a bit random. So that's why we've created this, um, this section of the app where you can reach a subject matter expert or a company representative. This is such an important service, helping so many people, and as people age, they're much more likely to lose their vision, so they might have a really big change um, that uh, is going on. So, so I, I really am uh, really interested in, in how you fund this so that you can do it going forward. Um, you know, it's so hard to have good things that are sustainable. What is your model for making sure that you can continue this amazing service? That's a great question. So we keep the app free, um, and it will be free in perpetuity for our users and for our volunteers. You know, one of the first uh, accessibility barriers that I think we can all recognize is uh, financial barriers. Um, so anytime a company comes on board uh, to provide specialized help or to volunteer um, as part of a corporate volunteering package, uh, or if they buy an internal version of this for their own employees, so if they want to support their blind or low vision employees, um, that comes with a fee that sustains the free use of the app for our users and volunteers. What a fabulous idea to have relationships with employers. Uh, this is so important. I know that at Respectability, we have more than 10 people who are blind or low vision who are um, employees of Respectability. And so being able to help uh, people on the job is really very, very helpful. How do you identify these employers? Are they also just finding you through word of mouth? Or do you have a sustained um, campaign to recruit more uh, employers to you? Yeah, so sometimes we do um, have a, a word of mouth sort of uh, entry into uh, what we do, and we get leads that way. Um, sometimes employers uh, or groups will reach out to us, um, but most of the time, and you know, part of my role actually in my my day to day job is to um, create strategies for lead generation and outreach um, to determine based on feedback from our users, uh, what would be most useful for them. Uh, so we're always open to suggestions from our users. You know, if uh, there's a company that you'd like to reach, um, you're welcome to get in touch with us. Uh, myself or someone on my team will reach out to whoever we can and try to start a relationship that way. So how do they reach out to you, Kearns? Where, where do they connect to you? How can people get involved? Sure, so if you go to the website, you can submit a form. Uh, if you look under the business solutions section of the website, you're welcome to um, put your information in there and we will get in touch with you as soon as possible. Uh, likewise, our users can request uh, companies uh, through the app itself. Um, so there's a little info button on the top right uh, and everything in the app is compatible with TalkBack or uh, VoiceOver, um, so there's not going to be any accessibility barriers to finding that. Uh, and then you're welcome to submit um, the companies that you'd like us to reach out to uh, through that section of the app. 
That's great. And then when you have these relationships with some of these outside resources, you, you mentioned Google, for example. Um, you know, if somebody wanted to get, check their, G, their Gmail or maybe they wanted to update their LinkedIn, do you have a series of resources from different vendors who are helping uh, blind consumers? Or, or do you have to do that on a case-by-case -case basis where you're looking things up um, one at a time as people are making requests? So when somebody contacts a company, they, they're actually going to be uh, connected to someone who works at that company. So um, in the case of Google, you know, it could be uh, you'd be connected to their disability support desk. Um, and they are really, I mean, they're phenomenal in their ability su to support for a wide variety of use cases. Uh, and you mentioned LinkedIn. Uh, they're actually on the platform as well. Um, in certain cases, uh, you know, there might be a chance where um, the agent needs to transfer a person, um, but because they know that this person is coming in through Be My Eyes, um, they're going to be able to get that information to that caller uh, in a way that's accessible to them. During the pandemic in the United States, we've seen a tremendous expansion of remote work um, with more and more blind individuals able to have a job for the very first time because they can work from home. They don't have to worry about transportation. Have you seen this really make any changes for um, your platform and for your community, this you know, real expansion of remote work? So I think uh, more than anything, it's presented a, a great opportunity for us to um, bring Be My Eyes for Work to more organizations. Um, I am I'm sure that uh, people have used it uh, in that uh, scenario. Um, but really, this is an area where we'd love to expand uh, and work with more businesses uh, to support their employees who might be working remotely. One of the very exciting things is that in the United States, believe it or not, during the pandemic, we have the highest labor force participation rate of people with disabilities since it has ever been recorded. And a big part of that is because of remote work and because of accessibility um, technologies like yours. Do you, Kearns, have a favorite story of a success? And we have about a minute remaining. What is your favorite story of what you've been able to do with this program? So I, I think one of my favorite stories is just the, the story of uh, you know, my coworkers who are blind or low vision, um, who have really been able to thrive, grow, um, by focusing on, on on our mission to see the world together. Um, for myself, you know, this has been a, a life-changing uh, job for me. Um, so, you know, I don't want to use myself as an example, but um, I really, it's it's really been a perspective changing and, and rewarding experience to, to be with Be My Eyes. Kearns Lane is just such a tremendous leader. The work that he's doing at Be My Eyes is so tremendous. Here at the United Nations, we are so accessible at the Zero Project that we have a summary with a picture. And so for those of you who are um, able to see this, I'm going to have it turn right now to this fabulous graphic. Thank you. Let me just give you a quick summary of what I heard. And I drew something, so I'll explain all the pictures. Um, you can see, I tried to put the logo here, Be My Eyes, and uh, Kearns Lane is telling us about this application that is free of charge for all the users and the volunteers, and it's quick visual assistance for blind and hard um, uh, people with visual impairments. Um, how it works is that there is a platform of volunteers who um, provide their eyes to a blind person, and it works like that. You take your camera, the back camera of your mobile phone, and you show the picture, send the picture or the camera to a person and say, okay, please, can you tell me what you see? And the person will tell you what he or she sees. I took something like, okay, I can see your medication or the COVID test example. Um, it's a big opportunity, not only for these private issues, but also for work. So it's a life-changing application. Uh, we also heard, okay, how do you make marketing for this? And it's word of mouth. It's by telling people that there is something good happening. Um, and I also heard that 
one of the big tasks you have is building uh, relationships to your partners. So it's funded by those relationships to your partners, and that's why it will always be free of charge. Perfect. Thank you all for joining us today.